Welcome to the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds and in this episode we are in Milan experimenting with creative lighting techniques with a disco theme. I'll be using a mixture of the AD300 Pro, the AD100 Pro, AD200s and the AD1200 Pro. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorials to come. This episode, we are in Europe's fashion capital, Milan, in northern Italy. We are at the renowned Cross Studios, which gives us plenty of space to experiment with some creative lighting setups to suit the disco editorial theme we have planned. I've brought my entire Godox collection with me so I can choose the light and modifier to suit the mood that Valentina, my stylist, has created. My original plan was to shoot against the huge white cyclorama we have available. So I've positioned two 8200s with round head attachment and diffusion dome so the light hits the background. And my key light, the AD300 Pro in a silver beauty dish, lights our model Gabriella. Without the AD200s, the white background would appear grey. As I start to shoot, I realise something is missing, and the coloured sequins of the model's bodysuit give me an idea. We need colour. It takes seconds to place an orange and purple gel under the magnetic diffusion dome of the AD200s, and all of a sudden, magic happens. Point out a casa. For setup 2, I'm removing the round head attachments of the AD200s, replacing them with a bare bulb to use inside two gridded soft boxes, which will be our rim lights. Our key light will be the AD300 Pro inside one of my favourite modifiers, the Lantern Softbox, which gives a gorgeous light falloff. 
we have a traditional three-point setup with the key light centrally placed in front of and above the subject with the rim lights kissing the hair and shoulders and providing nice separation from the background. I love this look, but I want to add some dynamic movement to the images and really capture a feel of dancing. So I slow the shutter to one second, also known as dragging the shutter. It's often recommended to use rear curtain sync while doing this, but as these are portraits and I want to have full control over the moment the flash fires so I can capture the pose I want, I'm using front curtain sync. This means the strobe fires at the beginning of the exposure then either the model moves or I move the camera or zoom the lens to create the blurred motion effect. I add a little more color to the ambient light captured with the slow shutter by adding a bright pink gel to the continuous pilot light of an AD100 Pro. Our final look is pure glamour. To ensure our model is fully lit from head to toe, I'm using a fill light shaped by a large reverse white umbrella with diffusion. For an extra pop of specular light, I've also placed a silver beauty dish with grid attachment just to light her face. The camera settings mean we can't actually see the light coming from the prop light in the background, so I recreate the effect of this warm light hitting her left shoulder using an AD100 Pro with CTO gel and grid. To end the set, I want to see what we can achieve with just one light. I start with the ring flash head powered by the AD1200 Pro on camera. This creates a really distinctive flashed look with an even shadow all around the subject and a very even shadowless light on the skin. Then I just move the light off camera to a 45 degree angle for a striking sculpt look with one single strobe. Hopefully the techniques used during our shoot today will inspire you to create using Godox's vast range of photography products. 
Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your photography needs, from lights to modifiers to stands and more. Today we used from one to four lights. Do you prefer a simple one light setup or a more complicated lighting arrangement in the studio? Put your answer in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep creating with light.